History of the Southwest Waterfront and Anacostia has been inextricably linked since World War II. In 1949, Southwest was cleared. It was flattened. But we had no experience as a society with flattening and urban renewal. And people were pushed out. There were very poor plans for where in a city that had a tight housing market segregation could poor people find a place to live. And one of the places they went was to Anacostia. Across behind me is where the Anacostia and the Potomac Rivers meet. And along the Anacostia River, where is now 295, is Barry's Farm. And in that area, developers making maximum profit jerry-built new buildings. And the poor people from here in large numbers went there. And they were glad to go there because it was new housing. It had indoor plumbing. It had kitchens with modern conveniences. It had playgrounds for children. It was not understood to be a bad deal at the time, but they were badly built and they were quickly built. And by the turn of the 21st century, they had all but been demolished. Those decisions had long-lasting repercussions for Southeast, and they are still felt to this day. Anacostia and, and east of the river have uh, traditionally, unfortunately, been uh, disinvested in. There have been some systemic inequities that have occurred. In Ward 8, where Anacostia is, there's only one grocery store for over 80,000 people. It's insane. It's unfortunate and it's sad that it's taken this long for folks to see and understand the beauty of Anacostia, the power of the people. But for many years, again, th this was not a place where people were trying to invest. But now people are starting to come east of the river. Now they're starting to see all of the assets that you have in this community. Developers, nonprofits, and community leaders are working to ensure that the residents of Southeast benefit from the new projects that aim to reconnect Anacostia to the rest of DC. We are currently standing on the east bank of the Anacostia River. Behind me is the uh, future site of the 11th Street Bridge Park. Both sides of the river have a wealth of history, so the idea came about to create a park that would connect both sides there's a wealth of natural resources that we don't even associate with Washington, D.C. But the other side of this is that there has been a continued disinvestment in the Anacostia neighborhood and in Southeast D.C. and East of the River community. And so you will see, like, for example, that there's 295, which goes and cuts through the neighborhood and really kind of creates almost like a disconnect between the Anacostia community and the park itself. This park is it's an opportunity for both sides of the community to find the different treasures that lie on both banks. This park really is, in many ways, a, an iconic representation of two communities coming to, together. <laughs>